Welcome to another LCRA Historic Moment. I'm here at Mansfield Dam, which forms Lake Travis, one of the six highland lakes on the Colorado River of Texas. These lakes and the dams that created them are a major part of Austin and the central Texas Hill Country. They're here because of the Colorado River's long history of extreme floods and droughts and the need for electricity. The city of Austin built the first dam on the Colorado in 1893. The Austin Dam created a lake that became a recreational center and provided water for a nearby powerhouse to generate electricity. But a massive flood destroyed the dam in 1900. The city rebuilt the dam only to see it heavily damaged by another flood. In 1931, a utility company started building a two mile long dam in the rural hill country upstream of Austin to provide electricity and some protection from floods. But less than halfway through construction, the company went bankrupt, a victim of the Great Depression and corporate mismanagement. To finish the dam, the state of Texas created LCRA in November 1934. Four years later, LCRA completed Buchanan Dam, along with Inks Dam just a few miles downstream. Construction provided hundreds of jobs to depression-stricken workers. Four more dams followed. In 1940, LCRA finished rebuilding the Austin Dam, which was renamed for Mayor Tom Miller. Two years later came massive Mansfield Dam to hold the hill country floodwaters that had routinely terrified Austin and other downstream communities. To help pay for construction, LCRA sold electricity generated at the dams. For many years, LCRA was known throughout Central Texas for its low-cost hydroelectric power. By 1951, LCRA had built Wirtz and Starkey dams to increase its electric generating capacity. That completed the chain of dams that created the Highland Lakes. But how did they get that name? We'll discuss that topic in another LCRA historic moment.